To solve this, we use the fact that for any polynomial with integer coefficients, a minus b divides p of a minus p of b. So let's call the root that we require x equals r, and that's an integer. So therefore, we know that p of r equals 0, as it's a root. So therefore, we know that 2 minus r divides p of 2 minus p of r, which equals 4. And we also know that 3 minus r divides p of 3 minus p of r, which equals 7. Therefore, from this one, we know that 2 minus r is equal to either minus 4, minus 2, minus 1, 1, 2, or 4. And from this one, we know that 3 minus r is equal to either minus 7, minus 1, 1, or 7. Therefore, from this one, we know that r is contained in the set minus 2, 0, 1, 3, 4, or 6. And from this one, we know that r is contained in the set minus 4, 2, 4, 10. There is only one number in both of those sets, which is 4. So therefore, the integer root must be at x equals 4. Answer C.